My name is Frank Sachs. I'm the publisher of The Movie Game, a new board game that we're looking to raise funds for through Indiegogo. In brief, The Movie Game is a game that I invented almost 34 years ago, back when I was an agent in the motion picture business and we had a strike going on in Tinseltown and it was illegal to even get on the phone and call my clients. I got pretty kind of down in the dumps, came home, had a double scotch or maybe two, and uh, began to think about the business that I was in and what it was all about. And the light bulb went off and all of a sudden the next thing I knew, a couple of weeks later, I created a board game, kind of like Monopoly in one sense, and developed it to try to really get some insight into what the movie business was all about, how Hollywood operated, and what my experiences uh, had, had meant to me. And uh, I came up with a pretty good game, but the problem was that nobody like Mattel or Parker Brothers or any of the big game companies would even talk to me. They just uh, they figured they had their own development departments and uh, what, what do they need my game for? So uh, I then tried to get a salesperson to uh, sell the game once I created it, and I couldn't find anybody anywhere to even represent the game. Uh, the long and the short of that one is that I then got a directory of all the stores in the country and I called all of the buyers and would talk to the first person, the doorkeeper who came on the phone and say to him, uh, hi, my name is Frank Sachs, I'm, I'm an agent in the movie business and uh, I'd like to talk to Susie uh, right away, the, uh, the buyer. And uh, lo and behold, she would come on the phone, I'd tell her a little bit about the story and amazingly enough, uh, all of them bought the game and we shipped thousands and thousands of them to stores like Macy's, Carson Peary Scott, uh, Marshall Fields in Chicago, uh, the May Company, the Broadway, Neiman Marcus in all 16 cities, even J.C. Penney in 16 different states. And we sold a lot of games uh, to, uh, to much to everybody's uh, amazement in the Wall Street uh, uh, as well because uh, the Wall Street Journal at that point did a feature story which even propelled the sales and we wound up selling out. Uh, it's 34 years later though, and uh, what I'm looking to do is bring the game out again because the board game business has been on a resurgence and a climb for the last five years in double seen double digit growth and it seemed like the perfect time to resurrect the game. The game back in 1981, although it was a success for the year that I brought it out in, uh, it got swamped and buried under handheld games which then hit the market for the first time and just sucked the lifeblood out of the entire toy industry, but hit hit the uh, the board game business the hardest. But uh, I've kept the game all these years. In fact, in 1999, I reserved the game title, TheMovieGame.com, and withheld uh, that from the market so that no one else would have it. And uh, as I still waited to see for a good opportunity to uh, get back in the board game business. And from all the trends that I've seen, now is the time to do it. Uh, once again, though, I'm without Mattel or Parker Brothers and on my own, but using uh, Indiegogo as a new platform to tell you, uh, hopefully a, a, a potential uh, supporter of the game, more about its details and what makes it so unique and how I've upgraded it to kind of reflect what's going on in the year 2015. In brief, if you think of a board game, they always come with cards and what we've done with ours is I've wanted to take the moviegame.com site and, and uh, attach it in some way to the board game so that a player, uh, before they uh, roll the dice and it was their turn, would have a choice of whether or not they wanted to go online and kind of roll the dice globally and see what happens to them, or they wanted to continue the traditional way to play the game as a classic family board game, which is really what it is uh, for people 14, teenagers 14 years and up, but it's, it's for friends and family and it brings people together and, and it's uh, fast action, fun and excitement is our motto and I think the game lives up to it. But I also wanted to tap into the mobile game app business which uh, in comparison the, the board game business is about a two billion dollar business whereas the uh, mobile game app business is about a thirty two billion dollar business and growing in leaps and bounds. And I found a way to do that uh, by labeling a deck of cards within my game with a QR symbol so that any player could take a, their smartphone and go ahead and either follow the instructions on the card that they'd drawn uh, or they could take their chances, hit the QR code with their smartphone and get kind of use that as a portal into uh, 
my imagination in one sense and the things that we built into the game which I think are going to make it unique in all the world. But this is a story that's supposed to be two minutes long. I've, I've gone way over that and uh, it's my first attempt to really try and do something like this. Although my background is in movies and television and uh, writing books. I've written uh, four or five books. I've, I've actually two of them I adapted into screenplays and they were made into a feature films called Nico the Unicorn with Ann Archer and Kevin Zegers and my other film called Extreme Justice with Scott Glenn. You might have seen them. They're both on YouTube. They've had more than a million downloads. So uh, this is not my uh, first time to venture into trying to create something in the entertainment business or to go out and try and get the support of other people to uh, help me kind of make a dream come true so that I can reissue this game and get it out to people across the world and actually kind of piggyback on all the trends that there are going on at one time out there that to me says that this is a unique uh, opportunity in time and space and a place to launch this kind of a game and maybe use a kind of crowbar approach and sneak our way into becoming a broadcast medium using the internet and the moviegame.com site as our broadcast portal to connect my board game with you. And uh, that's the story. There's more YouTubes that uh, I'm going to be producing to get into some specifics instead of rushing through this. And uh, I hope very much that I've conveyed something of what it is uh, I'm trying to do and that you'll support that because without you, we can't do it. But with you, I think we can go global. Thank you. Bye-bye.